What about you guys? I'm good, man. Just trying to stay busy, bro. Just uh, I I joined this academy online. Mm -hmm. I'm getting mentored through uh, someone in Philly. Yeah. He's he's like right now he's just killing it in the YouTube industry. And I've been doing this for over eight nine years. Actually, I just hit nine years. Yeah. And I've been in the algorithm. You know, I've been in YouTube favor. I've been viral. Like, but. Now that it's 2024, things have changed and not everyone is on the same thing anymore. Yeah. So I needed to figure out what exactly it was that I needed to do to change my content mm -hmm. and and stand out again, you know? Yeah. So with me, bro, they consider me the OG. Like, I, I'm, just, I'm just accepting it. However, a lot of these young guys on youtube and girls just surpassed me bro like yeah. they just took off and youtube is is it's, it's they're killing it they're killing it but everyone's doing good yeah how shannon doing he's, he's doing good yeah 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 he's here yeah, He's here but, today. Also, your wife is here too, right? Yep. That's awesome. Are you guys liking it? Yeah. Right. Until that, so you actually went through it, you know? No, yeah. Every year went by like faster. It feels like. <laughs> I think we're already like nine weeks. Ago. I wanted to say, I wanted to say, but like, bro, you're a junior still, right? But yeah. no, I remember like. Yeah. No, this is crazy. When's yeah. prom? That's gonna be in May. Yeah. It's getting really late. Oh, okay. And their homecoming's always super early, but this year we're kind of doing a later one, which is pretty nice. Because we do like skit, but like each grade puts on like a different, like, um, and then it's like after. Everybody's fine. We just did Powder Puff too. We won that. What's that? Yeah. And so. <laughs> The halftime show. You gotta like wear the skirt and everything. No, we wear it like, um, shiny like really really short shorts. Get the fuck out. Of yeah, it's. <laughs> Ain't no way, y'all. Um, you know I don't own a pair. You don't? No, bro. These are my first. I love them. Like I'll wear them at any excuse. I, 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 that's my culture too. It's just I just never really dabbled into. Shoot, they're more expensive than sneakers, yeah, bro. They are. I think these are like two hundred. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, they're supposed to last like a, a lifetime, long time, yeah. bro. Or like, yeah, a lifetime. And I think like certain companies will give you like a warranty and have them buff them like every few months or whatever. Yeah. These are Ariats. Like oh. they have like a cool one. Here's they have my PHC class. Uh -huh. at, like one to like 240. Um. And then <laughs> I'm planning a freaking pep rally. It's it's a lot. And then skit you are? Enough. Yes. Um, like solo? Uh, pretty much. Wow. Uh, I'm like, I'm helping. I'm. People are helping me like at the actual one, but like I'm in charge of actually planning it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. It's going to be crazy. So anything mess goes wrong, it's on you? <laughs> pretty much. I mean, but everything's going pretty good. Um, but it's on Friday. You got pretty much everything squared away? Yeah. I think I'm going to do a whole Is this your puzzle. first time? Yeah. Because, well, the club I run is like, it's called Hawkeye. It's just, I always saw that you were highly into school projects, highly into uh, school itself. You know, you got a job at such a young age. You know, you're, I know your parents well enough to know that, you know. They didn't have to necessarily... About, like, you looking good in uniform, like, you following, like, like, he's, like, a rule stickler, which is definitely, like, what we needed. Okay. And like, people are, like, oh, my gosh, like, all these changes, but, like... Yeah, some people can't handle that. Yeah, but, like, it's, like, people are complaining about not Right. So, I don't know. Like, that's pretty... Like, he, he's definitely a good dude at heart, too. Like, you can tell. He is, he has, well, like, most like, successful thing. people have a small circle. Yeah. Most successful people are okay with being, quote unquote, the bad guy. Yeah. Um, or 
you know, not as likable, but at the end of the day, bro, you don't need that to be successful. Now, don't get me wrong, being at work and having your colleagues or employees or whoever you're working with, coworkers, like you, it definitely makes the day go by a lot quicker and makes work a little more fun. Yeah. Um, however, if you're learning from him, bro, honestly, worry about yourself, too, you know? Over a decade since I graduated, you know? So, like, for me, I was like, damn, like, time flew. Time flew. I enjoyed my years. High school was cool. Um, but, you know, things could have done better. Things could have went better. Um, but things went the way they went because that's how it just happened and that's how life happened. Mm -hmm. um, I had some opportunities that I could have, you know, took and done something with them. However, I just was young. Um, I, you know, I had some bad influence around me, so yeah. I didn't really act on those good opportunities um, that I could have acted on, but... Either bowl cuts, bug steps, or throw hops. Oh, man. It was, it was rough. <laughs> Bro, I, my mom used to take me to a place called Rio's in San Antonio, Texas. $4.95 for a haircut. This place was mainly for low income, you know, families where you can come get your whole family for a haircut for $20, you know? Yeah. And um, it was called Rio's. And my mom asked the lady to do a ball fade, leave a little in the front. This lady shaved me and my brother's whole head, bro, oh. and left the patch of hair in the front. <laughs> Southwest? No, or, no, because um, they don't fly over there. Yet. Oh, okay, um, okay. I think we did Delta. Okay, yeah, and you got to move stuff around the bags to make sure it's not over. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Me? Uh, no, it's actually pretty big. It's a big company. But like, it's like it's kind of like the Spirit, and like in Europe. I got you. And so it's like really, really cheap flights. So just to clarify real quick, I went ahead and tapered the sides already down. We're gonna line up the back of the neck, and right here in the back, you want to kind of keep that. So we're gonna kind of just V it out, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you're, you're you're okay with the length up top? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. We're gonna put some volume powder. That way we can style it a little bit more. Maybe some thin shears around this area to kind of lighten that area a little bit. Um, but the length on the side, we did a number four. You cool with that? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Being a barber for over eleven years, seeing y'all grow up, seeing y'all become young men. Yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty insane, bro. A lot of my clients see my kids grow up. And yeah, it's just it's dope, man. Just not did that, bro. Cause I yelled at him. I'm like, Yo, John, where you get your hair cut at, bro? Approaching like anybody else. Next thing you know, I'm cutting his hair for five plus years, and then kind of just slowly just stopped coming to me, man. I don't. It's weird. I have his number and everything. I'll text him like, Hey. You know, congratulations on the marriage, congratulations on the new movie or whatever it is. He'll write back, but maybe he just found someone that he, you know, caters to more or likes more. And I told him, I was like, bro, yeah. put me on set, man. I'll go freaking follow you on a, on a movie set or whatever. And he's like, I just use whoever's in the union. The first time he came into the suite, I hadn't seen him in a little while because of COVID. And I just told him, I was like, well, now I'm in the suite. I'm around less people. Like, it'll be just me and you. So. Yeah. He would come in with a mask still and everything, but then um, I was like, hey, do you ever think about going back to WWE or da 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 da? And he's like, man, I can never say no to them and I can never say that I would, you know, quit because they were the first person to give me my first chance, my yeah. first paycheck, you know, all that. So, you know, you never know. And then that Saturday, bro, he's fighting Roman Reigns. He knew all along, but he just didn't want to yeah. spoil oh, wait, it. Is that when he came back? Or That's the very the first time and he fought Roman Reigns. So yeah. that picture with him like this in front of Roman mm -hmm. Reigns. I posted it and I said, you can't see my barber. And oh, I sent I, I sent it to him and he's like, oh, bro, that's badass. Glide that comb straight up. And you just want to do the tips of the hair. That way you don't cut and make a line. That way you see.
Tell me what you think. Oh, shoot. I love it. Like it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 I've been cutting him for over eight plus years. I've seen this young man grow up and now he's doing his senior homecoming. This is a senior homecoming cut. Boy, it looks fresh, it's clean, he's ready. And that's dope, man. Just in case you thought I was bluffing, I think you're probably like, for sure less than 10 years old right here. And now look, <laughs> that's dope, that's dope.